Hello amazing kid artists! I'm out here at Eagle Creek Park, a place where I love to go and trail run. And I want to show you some beautiful wildflowers that are lining the path. Take a look at these glorious little wildflowers. They're so beautiful and intricate. Do you spy the beautiful pink lines? Those little pink polka dots? are um, where the pollen is and where the bees and the, um, go to collect the pollen. Did you see my finger just then? That is how small these little flowers are. When I bring my camera all the way out, you see just how tiny it is. Actually, this whole wood is covered with wildflowers. All those little white dots are all those little white pink and pink wildflowers. These little wildflowers remind me of the artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe is an artist who wanted to show the world what she saw through her eyes. She's super well known for her huge paintings of flowers. You see, while she was living in the city of New York City, she would not just paint views from her apartment window, of all the cool lines and shapes that she saw outside, but she would also paint the amazing forms of close-up views of flowers. She would kneel down really close to the earth to just take a moment to look at these flowers. She thought that as people were living in the city and going about their day, they were always looking up and around and not really noticing the beautiful flowers that were on the ground. She showed the world these beautiful flowers by painting them huge. I mean, enormous. To get an idea of size, here's me standing next to one of her paintings of Jimson weeds at the Indianapolis Art Museum called Nude Fields. Over to the other side of the screen, you can see a tiny weed growing up out of the ground. That's about the same size as these flowers are in real life. Here's some other views of flowers that she did. You can tell that she got really up close and personal with these flowers. When you look at her paintings, it's like you zoomed in to look at all the details of these flowers. Georgia once said, when you take a flower in your hand, and really look at it, it's your world for the moment. I want to give that world to someone else. Most people in the city rush around so. They have no time to look at a flower. I want them to see it whether they want to or not. And this is your assignment today. I want you to find something small, something tiny. It could be that little picture of a flower I slipped into the baggie with a piece of chalk for you. It could be a flower out in your yard, or perhaps it's something else that's super tiny around your house. Go find that thing and take some time to really look at it. As you're looking at it, imagine that it's become a ginormous world around you and you are inside its own world. Notice all the details, notice the lines, notice the colors, and take some time with it. Your job will be to draw so huge that everybody has to stop and take a look at it. So here's what you can do. Maybe go out to your backyard, maybe go out to your sidewalk and pick a wildflower that's growing up between the cracks or that object from your house. Then take that piece of chalk that I gave you in that plastic baggie and go out to a parking lot or a driveway or a sidewalk and draw that shape and form with all the lines and details in a big way so everybody has to see it. Then take a picture, post it to Schoology, so that we all can see your amazing, amazing work. I look forward to seeing your picture of your drawing of your flower or whatever small object you found on Schoology.